Hey guys, so it is Tuesday. Um, this is week two of my reverse and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling amazing. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit more energy back in the gym. Uh, I'm lifting a little bit heavier, not much heavier yet, um, but it's exciting to be able to lift a little bit more heavier, you know? Um, and you know what's so much more exciting is Kodiak cakes. I love Kodiak cakes. I didn't realize how much I've been missing them. So I've been having them more. Um, and you know, it's, I have a huge sweet tooth, but you know, when you're, you're on prep, I eat a meal plan on prep. As you guys know, you've been following me. I eat the same meals every single day, very clean. Literally, I even cut out almond butter and just eat raw almonds for my fat. So having Kodiak cakes, literally, it's like a dessert for me. I've had the chocolate, dark chocolate ones, and it's legit like a dessert. I've been eating it uh, yesterday and today, and I've been having delights, ice cream. And you know what? I'm one pound above my show day weight right now, and I am just enjoying life. Um, I'm still track. I'm going to be tracking, you know, I actually, my goal is to track until I get to like a maintenance level and get my calories up higher. And then I'm going to not track for a little bit. I haven't not tracked since May of 2018. I've been tracking every single thing I eat since May of 2018. So I am excited for that, but it's going to be a little while because I want to get my calories up to a, like a maintenance level. I want to gain a little bit of fat, body fat, whatever you want to call it. You know, people say, oh, you're not going to gain body fat. You are going to gain body fat because guess what? I'm such low body fat right now that it's not healthy and I want to gain some body fat. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm feeling so good. I'm excited for this reverse. I'm excited for you guys to follow this part of my journey and this part of my life, living life. And, you know, also, you know, nailing that perfect reverse while having balance in life. And that is what my plan is and what journey I'm going to be tackling next. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. And I hope you guys continue to watch my YouTubes and follow along. I had to wear a hat today because I need to wash my hair so bad. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed in my last YouTube, I was just editing it and like literally every day I had a different flannel on. It was really funny. Like every clip, it was like another flannel. And now today I have another new flannel on. Um, I tied it up today because they're so long. I've never done that before and it was in my way of working out, but I kind of like it. Okay, I'm rambling now. I'm about to go to work. I have to see patients today and then go grocery shopping and yep so i got a busy day and what else i feel like i had something else to do i'm sure there's more to do but i have a busy day okay y'all i don't know if people are out of town or people are just taking the week off because it's a holiday but the gym has legit well it's hard to tell from this video but it has been dead this whole week like usually the parking lot's full there's like no one here so i don't know like do you just take off the whole week because it's a holiday and just give up on all your goals? Not this girl. I am here about to train legs. Let's go. <laughs> It's Thanksgiving Day and we are headed to the gym to train. It's really like gloomy out here. It's been like this all week, but we're about to get a lift in. You don't have to eat, I just want you to try it. Oh, cranberry sauce? Huh? Are you still trying to get in there? Yeah. It's just, they're just tree rats, dude. Is the great sport? Okay, so I'm just leaving my mom's house. We went there for her Thanksgiving. I wasn't going to eat anything at all there because we actually have reservations to go get sushi, which is so crazy on Thanksgiving Day. We've never done that before, but we already celebrated Thanksgiving last weekend. We were supposed to be 
in the mountains right now, but we canceled that trip because traffic was gonna be so bad and we're leaving for Mexico in seven days. So yeah, um, I went to my mom's and I felt bad because they waited for us to get there to eat. So I had some turkey, which is just protein, which I'm behind on my protein today, so I'm fine with that. I had a little mini one of my biscuits I made. There was a little piece that was left. So I ate that with some cranberry sauce. So freaking good. I love cranberry sauce, biscuit, and turkey. Yum. That is my jam. So I had some of that. I tried her sweet potato casseroles. Literally the best sweet potato casserole that I've ever tried in my life. She always makes the best. I had a little bit of that. And then I had a little, little slither of pumpkin pie. And then she wanted me to try this thing called a buttermilk pie. I've never heard of. Well, actually, I've seen it in Publix before. I'm like, oh, that sounds disgusting. And she said she always thought it was gross, too. And someone made her try it at her work. And it was amazing. So she got one. And so we tried it. And Nick said it tasted like cheesecake to him. Now that he said it kind of did. But I thought it tasted like Boston cream. It was good. But I tried a little tiny bite of that. And then um, I had a little bite of a drizzle cookie. So I tried a little bit of a few things. Now we're going for sushi, but we're going home. We're going to change, drive there. It's like an hour drive, so it'll be a little later. And I always get this cucumber roll, so it's literally just tuna and cucumbers. And then we're going to split a regular roll. So I think I'll be good. That's my plan, and I'm feeling pretty good. I think everything's going to be good. I mean, I'm only one pound up for my stage weight, so I'm not really worried. Um, I've been purposely just kind of like coasting where I'm at right now so I can enjoy these few weeks of all these trips and holidays and cheat meals until I can get back in a real good routine. I mean, I'm in a routine during the week, but like a normal where I can start increasing my food every day um, or weekly, but I'm not doing that just yet until I'm through Mexico because I have to go to Mexico with none of my food. I'm slightly a little nervous, but excited. This, I know what to do. I'm not worried about myself, but it's like, this is my first time in over four years traveling without my own food. Even if I'm not in prep and off season, I always take my own food. And this is gonna be my very first time not having my food, but uh, I'll be eating a lot of fish and stuff. So yeah, we are getting ready to go home, get changed up and go have some sushi. And then we're gonna meet some friends out for some drinks. Christmas bar right now. It's all decorated for Christmas. Cool. It's called the Miracle Pop-Up. We went to one last night too. So they have all these Christmas drinks. There's only certain bars in um, each state that get nominated to be the Miracle Pop-Up. So yeah, it's cool. It's got Christmas drinks. Or the Courtesy Bar. This is called the Courtesy Bar. And look how cute. There's like a Santa pillow next to me. I'm like leaning against a Santa pillow. And then the bar has all these like little snowman and Santa things on it. Good morning, what's up? It's the day after Thanksgiving, Friday. I am just got to the gym. I'm about to train legs, but oh my God. It probably isn't gonna be the best workout because I'm exhausted, I'm so tired. I can't stay up late because I cannot sleep in. We didn't go to bed till almost one o'clock last night and I've been wide awake since 5 a.m. So I'm just like, I feel so tired. I had three drinks last night. I tried a new drink, which was good, but I don't ever, well, I don't really drink because, you know, I've been on prep forever and, uh, you know, three drinks is a lot for me. So I feel a little hungover, not feeling the greatest. And then I just got here and realized I never put any makeup on this morning. My face looks like death right now. <laughs> and I just asked my friend Jacqueline, like, so is it okay to wear sunglasses in the gym? because I forgot to put on makeup and I look like I literally have been hit by a train. She's like, yeah, girl, just do it. But you know what's so funny is the gym is packed. Yesterday it was like dead. And, or this whole week it was like dead. And today it's packed. It's like all these people are like, oh my God, I gotta go work out. I ate all this food. Like this is just my normal leg day. 
And honestly, I'm considering skipping it because there's so many damn people here, which means all the machines are going to be taken up. I'm dead tired. It's probably not even worth being here. Um, but I'm going to go in there. I told my friend Jack, I said, I'm probably going to walk in and just go and stare at people like all the old men do here and then leave. <laughs> I swear this gym is full of so many old creeps and that's what they do. They come in and they just stare at girls and then they leave. They don't even work out. So that's going to be me today. <laughs> I was going to go straight from here to Target to check out some Black Friday deals, but not looking like this because you know you see everybody you know in Target. So I'm going to have to go home. You know, you got to you gotta look good to go into Target. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. I'm supposed to be helping my mom decorate her Christmas tree today. My brothers are over there, my nephews. So I need to get my shit together and get done. It's already 9.20. Golly, I'm already on the way to see my first patient by now, usually. But I did my cardio, my fasted cardio I do every day. I'm not doing anything different today. I'm not doing extra cardio. You know, all these people do extra cardio the day after a big meal. Like, no, it's dumb. You know, just let your body relax. Um, your probably weight's going to go up because you're going to be inflamed from doing extra, extra stuff. So yeah, I'm not doing any extra cardio. Um, I'm planning on doing just a light leg workout because I, what I've done. Okay. So what I've done is like, I haven't really been able to lift heavy in forever because of prep anyway, but I try to push heavy. So I was like, you know, I like to push heavy a lot. That's what I like to do. How I like to train, but I've been switching it up more for recovery now. So I've only been lifting heavy per body group once a week, which is really what you should do anyway. So I'm doing one heavy day, which is usually on Monday. And then I'm just doing like lighter leg stuff today um, and on Wednesday. Um, but and I'm doing a little bit of difference. So like Wednesdays are more quad and hamstring focused. Mondays are glutes, mostly glutes with some two hamstring workouts. And then today will be mostly glutes with a couple hamstring things. Um, so that's my plan. Okay, I'm going in now. Here we go. Okay, we came to crates. Okay, so we came to this place called Crates. Um, it's over on our way to Tampa. And I've been here before. If you guys follow my YouTube, so I did a YouTube here before, but it's like basically all these like semi truck containers and people make like um, little restaurants and stuff out of them. So we just came and got some food. I got a salad, Nick has a wrap. But yeah. Dreary day out here in Florida. Okay, so we are in St. Pete. We came over here to go out to dinner tonight and we are going to this thing called Enchant Lights, which is in the Tampa Bay Ray Stadium and it's supposed to be one of the biggest light shows in the world. So we're going to that tonight and we're just cruising around. We went to crates, we went to the mall. Now we're going to Delights in St. Pete. We're gonna meet up with Lauren, but she has family coming into town and just our times didn't match up. Um, but we're gonna to go to Delights in St. Pete and then we're gonna go walk around. We're gonna watch the rest of the football game and then go to dinner and to Delights and I'll film some of that stuff if I can. Got my Delights. Pistachio and brownie batter with chocolate sprinkles. So we're out at dinner. We're at the Park Shore Grill in St. Pete. It's a nice place. Um, we're hopping. It's funny. We literally just changed in the car in the parking garage. Paid we had a, hey, we we paid twenty dollars to park in there so we could be incognito, and we just changed. All right, we're gonna eat dinner now. Okay, 
we just got to the Enchant Lights. It's supposed to be the biggest light maze and setup in the entire world. Um, I read the story today. These two teenage boys from Canada started decorating their neighborhoods um, like houses with Christmas lights and they turned into this big spectacular show and now it's in stadiums all over the United States. So we are at the Tampa Bay Ray Stadium for the Enchanted Light. It says no phones, so I don't know if I'll be able to film anything, but I'll try. Let's do it. Okay, this is the drive-in. We're about to go park somewhere. Okay, so we just got these really cute drinks to carry around. They're light bulbs. And they say, mine says Enchanted and his says... Mine says, a world of wonder awaits. A world of wonder awaits. Here we go, we're headed... Oh my god. Oh my god, here we go. Wow. to go skating. <laughs> are you gonna go? Hold on, where are we go? You just okay. gotta go. I'm gonna try and go, I'm gonna try and go across here. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't know how to uh, <laughs> quite how to skate, but we're gonna learn tonight. <laughs> Good morning guys. So I just wanted to give a little wrap up from the weekend. Um, it was a long weekend, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Um, I did work on some client plans, but in some cookie orders, but I didn't have to see any patients. Um, I celebrated Thanksgiving again at my mom's. I didn't eat a whole lot there because Nick and I had plans to go out for sushi. So we had sushi. Um, we had some drinks and I tried some different drinks. I normally just stick to Tito's on the rocks and I tried like two different Christmas drinks and took a shot. It was too much. I woke up Friday feeling horrible. My weight was up. You know, a lot of people don't realize that alcohol and especially like sugary drinks and all can really, really jack your weight up. Um, so yeah. So my weight went up a little bit, and then Friday I did some Black Friday shopping, stuck to my plan. Saturday we went to St. Pete. Um, I had some delights, um, and then we went out to dinner at this really nice place, and I got just a tune, ahi tuna on a salad, but I did get some mussels and some bread that I dipped in the sauce that was amazing. I wasn't gonna drink because actually I was still feeling pretty like hungover two days later, um, but I ended up having a couple drinks. And then we went to the Enchant. Um, all this will be in the YouTube. And I had a sugar cookie and some, I don't know, people call it like puppy chow or something. It's like Chex Mix, but it was like Reese Chex Mix. Um, and you know, so yesterday I woke up and my weight was up quite a bit. It was the highest it's been up since my show. It was up 4.4 pounds from show day and I was up like 3.4 pounds from Thursday morning. Um, so I'm probably, you know, I had Thanksgiving food, sushi, drinks, and then an un like, not like untracked meal. Yeah, I had dessert, you know, a cookie and drinks again on Saturday. 
So um, I was a little in my head yesterday. I was a little frustrated with myself and I was like, maybe I overdid it, but you know, I'm still trying to find that balance after being so strict and you know, like so used to eating my meals and that's just what I like. I like routine. I like that structure. I, I like being on prep more than I like reversing and having flexibility because I'm just such a routine person. You, you tell me what to do and I'm going to do it. And that's just how I am with prep and all. Like I make my meal plan. I stick to it. So yesterday I was back to my regular meals and stuff and my weight dropped back down a pound this morning. So I'm just a little like, I get a little nervous because we're leaving for Mexico Thursday and this will be my first trip that I cannot take any of my food with me. So, but you know, I've already looked into all the restaurants and everything and there's gonna be some healthy choices there and also I'll be fine. But yep, so this is a short week again and then we're off to Mexico on Thursday. I will be making a YouTube of all of that coming up. So stay tuned.